the beast. Look at the beast right there. Let's go. We're here. We're here. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm a little late on this update, but we've been buying movies from Best Buy for the last couple of months, and I actually had these there. We've already seen some of them, and I'm like, oh man, I haven't showed them. We're gonna start off with Pitch Perfect 3. I'm glad we only paid like $10 for it. I thought the other ones were way better. If I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the other ones were definitely way better. Pitch Perfect 3 is the worst one out of the three. I thought it could have been so much more to wrap up the series. I really enjoy that that type of, uh, you know, the high school musical vibes and, and the little comedy and the romance and all that that it had. But I just feel that the, I don't know, it was just too much, I guess. Then the first Purge, I get what they were trying to do with this one, but... Uh, it could have been so much better, so much potential. I'm a huge fan of the Perch series, and this one, it was all right. I mean, I'd give Pitch Perfect 3 maybe a 6 out of 10, and I think that the first Perch is riding the same wave. It's probably a, a 6 out of 10 at best. That one, so both of those were like, 10, 12, like $12 each. I think it was like $12.99. And then this one was 15 bucks midway. It's not better than 1917. 1917 is on another level when it comes to like cinematography and stuff. But when it came to action, this was a lot of fun. It had a lot of pop and a lot of cheese. It was that good cheese though. It had a good cast. Look at everyone right there. Story we've already heard of uh, told in a decent way. You know, that one was like a seven out of 10. Can't wait to open this one up. I still have it sealed. Days of Thunder. This is a very underrated Tom Cruise movie, Paramount started dropping all these Tom Cruise films and I'm waiting for them to go on sale, like Top Gun and uh, what, what's the other one, War, War of the Worlds. I'm gonna be buying all those Tom Cruise movies, but I gotta wait to get them at a good price. And this one, we ended up getting it for like $10. It was like a quick one day sale and I snagged it online, picked it up at my, at my local Best Buy. Um, Ah, oh, this is this is this is fun. This is fun. I can't wait to see the transfer on that one. I didn't want the steelbook to sell out for Inception. As you see, it is a Best Buy exclusive. I should have done the unboxing for you guys, but you know, I saw the transfer and it looks clean. Christopher Nolan does his movies like really dark and it has like this silverish bluish tone like you see right here. Was it worth picking up straight away at $30? No, I'd wait to get it on sale. I love Christopher Nolan. This movie's a 10 out of 10 for me my favorite movie of all time more than likely but i just wanted to make sure i got this one in the steelbook form last but not least we haven't opened this one i actually snagged this one in a one day sale jaws uh this is the 45th anniversary limited edition it does have like a little digi book here uh, my wife is a big jaws fan i'm not but you know I'll, I'll revisit it i heard really good things about this transfer so i figured that for that price of ten dollars why not for the most part, they all look really good in 4K and sound really good as well. So can't wait to check out Days of Thunder and Jaws. Looking forward to those. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick Best Buy update. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.